Um, hi, everyone. My name is uh, Yi Yang. I come from uh, Intel. I'm uh, Zoltan Balog, and I'm from Ericsson. <clears throat> uh, today, uh, our topic is uh, NSH-based service function chaining with uh, OS uh, by using packet type of uh, pi pipeline. <clears throat> Uh, NSH is a new protocol, especially for service fact chaining. It's a network service header. Uh, here is the agenda. Uh, first, Zoltan will uh, introduce the background uh, why we do uh, PTAMP and generic in camp to camp. Um, he also will introduce uh, uh, PTAMP and generic in camp to camp implementation details. Uh, then I will uh, introduce service function chaining and uh, uh, network service header. Um, I also will update uh, current uh, OS NSH implementation standards. Uh, and last, I will uh, demonstrate NSH based service function. Okay, it's Thank you. Uh, so, the next. So, um, NSH uh, stands for, for Network Service Header, and uh, actually it's a service tunnel header which can be used uh, to create um, service function paths or service function chains uh, in the networks. Okay. It, uh, <laughs> it encapsulates, uh, it can encapsulate different packet types, uh, typically Ethernet or IP, and uh, for the transport, it can use uh, either an outer Ethernet header or uh, a generic transport tunnel, uh, such as GRE or VX1 GPE. Uh, the support, support for NSH uh, requires uh, handling of Ethernet, uh, NSH, and other layer 3 packets. And in addition, it uh, also requires actions to add and remove Ethernet header uh, and NSH headers. Uh, to resolve these uh, requirements, uh, we can use the packet type web pipeline and the generic anchor VCAP open flow extensions. Um, actually, the project was started about a year ago, and uh, many people from the community were involved. Uh, we tried to collect all the names. I'm sorry if I missed someone. Um, actually, before the project was started, there were already some patches on the mailing list available. But uh, these um, did not provide a generic solution or uh, some way they violated the open flow or open wastage um, principle concepts. So that's why it was uh, started. So the packet type of pipeline is an open flow extension. Uh, actually, it uh, introduced, this is a new OXM um, pipeline match field. This is the packet type. Uh, it consists of a namespace and a namespace, namespace type. Uh, you can see uh, two examples. The first one is uh, for the Ethernet uh, packet, and the second one is for a layer 3 packet. Uh, the other type can specify um, exactly what kind of layer 3 packet is this. Um, the packet type, the new field, uh, can be used in matches, and uh, it acts also as a prerequisite for various header match fields. Um, it makes possible to handle non-eternal frames in the pipeline, and uh, it was standardized in the OpenFlow 1.5 um, specification. The generic NCAP DCAP extension makes it possible to add and remove uh, arbitrary protocol headers, and uh, it also implies the change of type of outermost header, and uh, at this point, the two uh, extensions can be connected. So if we, once we have the PTAP implemented, uh, we can implement um, NCAP DCAP an easier way. So the packet type by pipeline was introduced uh, in OBS 2.8. And uh, we brought uh, also a new um, tunnel option in. This is the, it's called packet type. And uh, by uh, specifying this, uh, or changing this option, we can uh, specify how the tunnel port uh, will act. By setting it to legacy layer two, uh, the tunnel port acts as a layer two tunnel port. By setting it to legacy layer three, it can act as a um, layer three tunnel port. Mm. 
And between the ingress and egress tunnel ports, the pipeline only deals with Ethernet packets in this case. Uh, this option can be set to PTAP for some um, tunnel types. And uh, in this case, uh, the ports can terminate both layer three and layer, layer two and layer three uh, the tunnels. Um, and uh, between the ingress and the egress ports, the packet type can be layer two or layer three as well. It's, um, yeah, so the generic NCAP and DCAP extension um, makes possible to um, NCAP and DCAP arbitrary protocol headers. It, the extension provides two new uh, open flow actions. These are the NCAP and DCAP. Um, however, this extension is not yet standardized. But then the OVS 2.8, uh, we implemented the NCAP DCAP for Ethernet and for the network service header, both for MD type 1 and 2. So now, um, actually, uh, 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 now the layer, uh, layer 3 packet in the pipeline can have, uh, uh, can exist, can have an Ethernet header or, uh, we can have layer three packets in the pipeline with or without an Ethernet header. And uh, in the OpenFlow tables, now it's uh, possible if you want to match on layer three or four uh, fields that we can, we can have two distinct matches. As you can see, uh, we can match on IP destination address in two ways. Uh, if it's about an Ethernet packet or if it's about a layer three IPv4 packet. There are two matches. Uh, we can resolve this in two ways. Um, one is to duplicate the flow entries in the tables. And the second one is to normalize the packet type before we match. Uh, this means, for instance, that uh, we decap the Ethernet header if present before we send it to a layer three table, or we encap Ethernet header before we send a layer three packet to an Ethernet port. So that was my part. Yes. Uh, here, this chart illustrates the service function chaining. Uh, here we have classifier service function for other service function. Uh, classifier will classify the traffic from client um, uh, based on SEO and uh, push the NSH header, uh, then encapsulate the packet with the Ethernet header or VXTAN GP header, uh, then send the packet to a service function forwarder. A service function forwarder will uh, forward the traffic uh, to service function or next service function uh, forwarder uh, based on uh, service path identifier and the service index in NSH header. Uh, Service function is a specific uh, service uh, like um, firewall, DPI, load balancer. Uh, the classifier also will decapsulate the traffic uh, and uh, pop an NSH header, uh, then send the original packet to the final destination. Uh, here you can see three curves. Uh, the first um, curve is the chain. Um, this chair will go through service function one and uh, service function two. Uh, the blue one uh, just goes through service function one. Uh, the blank one just uh, goes through service function two. Uh, actually, um, ITF has um, um, defined the service function chaining architecture. Uh, by standard uh, IFC document. Um, ATF also um, uh, has document to state, uh, to state uh, the problem of uh, service function chaining. So th these documents uh, are standard uh, IFC. <coughs> but uh, NSH is still uh, uh, a draft. Uh, but recently it has been submitted to uh, IESG uh, for publication. 
So that means uh, it will be approved uh, and IFC. <coughs> NSH is a transport protocol independent. So we need a transport protocol to carry NSH packet. Uh, for example, Ethernet or VXLAN GP. Uh, here is the NSH header format. Um, in NSH header, we have a base header. Uh, this header is uh, length fixed. Uh, it includes uh, NSH volume, uh, OAM flag, TTL, length, uh, metadata type, next protocol. Uh, here you can see service pass identifier and the service index. <coughs> uh, this header also includes a, a metadata header and the cortex header. Uh, for MD type one, um, uh, this is a cortex header. Uh, this, this header is a length uh, uh, fixed. It's uh, 16 bytes. But for metadata type two, um, we have TLVs in metadata header. Uh, every TLV can be defined uh, by metadata class, metadata type, metadata length, and the metadata content. Uh, currently, we have uh, implemented VXLAN GP uh, in OS 2.8 and uh, Linux kernel um, 4.7. Uh, we also have uh, implemented uh, NSH DBTK user space uh, in OS 2.8, um, but it cannot uh, support uh, TTL match field and uh, uh, decrease the NSH TTL action. And the latest turn has actually dropped uh, and defined them. Uh, last week, uh, we also merged the NSH kernel patch uh, in Linux NetNext tree. Uh, this kernel patch uh, changed the Netlink message format per kernel requirement. So uh, in current uh, OS NSH DBDK uh, implementation, we need to change to adapt to the, this uh, new Netlink uh, format. We also need to uh, add uh, uh, TTL match field and uh, uh, decrease NSH TTL action in current OS. Mm, we also need to backport the uh, NSH kernel patch to OS uh, in order to support uh, compatible mode. Uh, currently, OS uh, can support uh, metadata type two partially. So we also need to develop uh, more um, features to, to full support uh, metadata type two. Um, open data side, uh, we also need to change uh, OpenFlow plugin, SFC, and network uh, to use uh, new NSH implementation. Uh, in OS 2.8, um, we have added uh, these uh, NSH match fields. Uh, we also um, implemented uh, in-camp NSH actions and uh, decamp NSH actions. Um, here are specific open floor rules for in-camp NSH action, in-camp in ETH action, and uh, decamp ETH action and decamp NSH action. Uh, here is uh, our SFC demo topology. Uh, you can see we have two VMs. Uh, in every VM, we have two service functions. Um, uh, we have um, client in VM1. We have a server in VM2. Um, client is in network namespace. Uh, server is also in network namespace. Uh, when we um, pin server from client, the traffic will go through uh, service function chain, SF1, SF2, SF3, SF4. Um, the reverse traffic will go through the reverse uh, service function chain, uh, from service function four to service function three, service function two, and to service function one. <coughs> uh, here is the uh, 
Ah, mit deinem Here you can see we, we, we use a container to run service function. We use uh, uh, VETH port uh, for service function. This is the VM1. Um, we run client in this VM. Uh, this is the service function one. We run Python script to emulate uh, NSH where service function. Let me see the M4, the M2. Here we run this Python script so this container can um, play service function role. Here, um, we run ping uh, in client in VM. You can see ping in the code. Okay, actually, the SMP traffic will go through uh, service function. You can see every service function is processing an SMP packet. Here we, uh, we run duplicate uh, in client. Here uh, we run server in VM2, right. Uh, so here when client uh, duplicate server, the web server can get HTTP request, you can see. OK, the demo is done. Next. Yeah. So um, on this slide, uh, you can see some proposals for the future, uh, what could be done. So um, we can extend the namespace uh, of the packet type uh, to, to include, as you see, IP proto or UDP TCP port. Um, could also add support for further, further PTAP tunnel ports, like the generic UDP tunnel port. Or um, could extend the in-cap, decap actions to, to be able to handle more um, protocol headers, like MPLS or tunnel headers or GTPU. And uh, as um, currently, we can match, uh, we can NCAP and DCAP MS, uh, NSH MD2 type uh, headers, but uh, matching and setting these fields is not supported, so um, this could be done. But uh, as it's stated on the slide, this requires generalization of the TRB support in OVS. So, questions? Let's thank our speakers. So we have time for a few questions. So if uh, anybody has one, please come up to one of the mics or, or wave at me and I'll, I'll bring a mic over to you. So uh, um, th this is one of the talks that, that makes me nervous that I, uh, I, I should be out reviewing patches, but fortunately most of the people who want those patches uh, reviewed are actually here, so uh, uh, they, they probably aren't uh, too concerned about it uh, right at the moment. Uh, it looks like we don't have any questions, and that might be because the, uh, uh, the next activity is lunch. So uh, <laughs> we, we have lunch down the hall in the, uh, the same room as yesterday. We have about an hour. Please uh, reconvene at 1.20. Let's thank our speakers one more time. Thank you.